Young Brothers. Yeah. I'm David. I'm Andrew. And we like to eat a lot. Oh, that is delicious. But we're kind of broke. Over the years, we figured out how to find the most authentic and delicious food without breaking the bank. This looks amazing. Do it. And now we're passing that knowledge down to you. The catfish is perfectly fried. Oh, that's the secret. <laughs> Fun fact. So we're hitting the hottest food spots in each city. Oh, my gosh. Each of us armed with just $50 a day. We have an order for the Fun Brothers. Oh. Stamp that. Bang. Today, we're in San Antonio, Texas. Yeehaw! We'll check out some killer chicken and donuts. Hold up. Grab Mexican hot chocolate brownies. Mm. Oh, the bar just got raised. Barbecue oh. brisket ramen. And a San Antonio original puffy tacos. Mm. That's mm. delicious. Yo. So join us as we show you how to eat and drink like ballers on a budget. <laughs> We're at the San Antonio River Walk in San Antonio, Texas, home of the Alamo. This place has a lot of culture, and it's also home to a bunch of young, innovative chefs that are doing crazy things with food. It's also home to some of the best Tex-Mex in the world, and they are not afraid to use those flavors in desserts. San Antonio food doesn't just have history, it's making it. When you're in San Antonio, you have to... Go to the Alamo. Drink a margarita. What have been your favorite things you've eaten in San Antonio? Mexican food and barbecue. Italian, Cajun, Moroccan, pretty much anything you want, San Antonio has it. Our first stop is Cured in San Antonio's Pearl District. When you think of San Antonio, you think of Tex-Mex. Well, here at Cured, they're doing something totally different and unique. Today I had the chicken and donuts, and it was savory and delicious. Utilizing a renovated historical building built in 1904, Chef Steve McHugh has a menu built around handcrafted cured foods using organic, regional ingredients. <laughs> that is oh. a striking image. Welcome to Cures. Good to meet you. What do you think? I think you guys live up to your name. <laughs> we walked in immediately. I see cured meats. This is not what you thought, right? We practice age-old processes and do them all here in our what we call a shark tank. Why are they in this futuristic chamber? It holds the meat at a constant 60 degrees and a constant 60% humidity. Curing is cool, but we want to sample something that screams San Antonio, like Chef Steve's famous chicken and donuts. Steve, you've got a dope kitchen. You said we're going to make chicken and donuts. Walk us through the process. What kind of donuts are we making? These are, we call them our cured cake donuts. What's fun about these is they're not a yeast-risen donut. We don't want something that's really airy and light. We wanted something dense and cake-like. So instead of yeast, we actually use leftover mashed potatoes Ooh, to make them. What? <laughs> to oh, make no. Gives it the structure. It makes it nice and dense, because we're going to dump a bunch of jalapeno syrup on top of this whole thing, and we need it to soak in there. So we got the donuts fried. And what we're going to do next is we're going to start working on our chicken. Let's grab our seasoning there. We're going to dump our buttermilk and our crystal hot sauce on top of the thighs. Oh, man. While that's frying, we're going to put together our jalapeno syrup. To make Chef Steve's homemade jalapeno syrup, he combined sugar, apple cider vinegar, cayenne, turmeric, garlic powder, and celery seeds. It simmers until the sugar dissolves and cooks down. I just added the jalapenos. Our sugar starting oh. to dissolve. Oh, in there. So it's almost going to be like candied jalapenos. Yeah, there. exactly. We'll call it cowboy candy. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh, yo. They emerge. Oh, my gosh. I can smell that heat right? from the jalapeno. See, it's see, like burning my, my nose hairs. You see, they've cooked down. We got our donuts on the okay. bottom, our chicken on top. Wait. Uh, oh, my. Hold up. Oh, that is incredible. Goodness. Look at that. Look at those layers. Mmm. Yo. Guys, how'd we do? You have so many opposing things happening on the flavor palette. You have the sweet interacting with the spicy, and then you have the crispiness of the chicken interacting with the soft texture of the donut. Yeah. So it's like, very contrasting. Chart it. Yeah. Chart it. Dead. It's in. OK. This might be my Asian side speaking. This is like the southern gourmet General Tso's chicken. <laughs> and I mean that in the best way possible, man. Every flavor is going on in there. A lot of restaurants do their own take on fried chicken and waffles. Yeah. And I do think their goal is to achieve umami. Many try, but many will fail. Yeah. 
you have achieved what a lot of restaurants are trying to do. Steve, you got a hell of a dish right there. How much are we looking at? Oh, that's $16 at brunch. $16. Oh, I should charge more? I'm not telling you to charge more, but it's worth more. All right, let me put my accountant hat on. We both have $50 a day each to spend. That's $100 minus $16, $84 left. Still craving some Southwestern specialties? We got you covered. Head over to Blanco for their juicy meat and veggie-filled chuck wagon beef stew with spicy jalapeno cornbread. It's the perfect thing to fill you up after a long day of seeing the San Antonio sights. This taste of the Old West is just $8.99. Want some heat instead of meat? Swing by the clean plate and grab their spicy stuffed pepper plate. It's a smorgasbord of roasted poblano peppers, organic squash, corn, mushrooms, diced bell peppers, chipotle, and pepper jack cheese. It's served with basmati rice and refried black beans and is just $9.50. We have $84 left to spend on awesome food in San Antonio. And when in Texas, you got to do what true Texans do best, Tex-Mex. We're at La Hacienda to try a San Antonio staple, the Puffy Taco. Ooh. I love getting the Puffy Taco here at La Hacienda. They have the best in San Antonio. You get chicken, lettuce, tomato, cheese, sour cream, and you just load it up. From fajitas to burritos, this North Central hotspot serves up Mexican goodness. But the opportunity to try a puffy taco is too good to miss. Hello, guys. Welcome to San Antonio and to La Hacienda de los Barrios. Hi. What can I get for y'all today? We heard you got puffy tacos. What is that? Mmm, they're the best. Puffy tacos. It's like a little half of heaven. Delicious. How do you guys make them? First of all, we take fresh corn masa, and we put it through a tortilla press, drop it in the hot oil, it puffs up, and then we fill it with whatever you want. I heard that this is a San Antonio original. It is. Really, outside of San Antonio, you're not going to find the puffy tacos, because they're absolutely delicious. You can have them filled with different things, like bean and cheese, or guacamole, chicken, beef, veggies. Take like a veggie. Okay. Veggie sounds good. And uh, bean and cheese with guacamole. With a little guacamole. Oh, yes. excellent. That's See, an excellent, on yeah. Right. We're on the same wavelength. I got you. Here. I got you. They're delicious. You're going to really love them. I'm looking forward I'm, to I'm it. ready to get puffified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, y'all ready? Oh, my goodness. Deliciousness Ooh. right in front of you. Just absolutely that looks beautiful. wonderful. Enjoy. I thought in my mind I had an image of what the puffy taco looked like, but it actually is even puffier than I thought. It's almost like a puffy cup. Guacamole, you got the cheese, you got the red tomatoes, and then you got lettuce. You can enhance your puffy taco experience with two very different sauces, a garlic and parsley chimichurri or a mild red salsa. Yo, that is really heavy, the weight on this thing. Oh Are my you, goodness. you feel it? Cheers to a San Antonio original. To the puffiness. Mmm, that's mm, delicious. Yo, you gotta try some with some chimichurri sauce, aka puffy sauce. Yeah, I cooked it up another notch with the chimichurri. Mm. That chimichurri sauce reminds me of a pesto. Mmm, it just really added that pizzazz to this. Yo, that looks good. Let's switch it up. Long row switch up. Mm. Gonna go with the red sauce. I already put the chimichurri on there. If you're a vegetarian, this is perfect for it. You got all different types of veggies and squash, super flavorful. I give the La Hacienda Puffy Tacos a ses out of ses. Puffy Tacos are a San Antonio original. It doesn't come from anywhere else. Fun, Fun fact. fact. Yo, Andrew, how much do Puffy Tacos cost? Two for $10.99. That's a really good deal considering how filling they were. That leaves us with $73.01 left. Now that we've had something savory and puffy, we're going to Alamo Heights for something straight up sweet. We're headed to Bird Bakery, one of San Antonio's premier bake shops. They make everything on site from scratch each and every day, and they use only the finest ingredients. How are you today? Bird Bakery's founder and co-owner is Elizabeth Chambers. The San Antonio native met her husband, actor Army Hammer, in LA, but she wanted to keep her baking roots in town. She's influenced by her grandmother's English recipes, but she also infuses her desserts with flavors from south of the border. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome to on? Bird Bakery. I'm Elizabeth. Andrew, nice, nice to meet to you. Nice to meet you, Andrew. You got so much stuff here. We have a ton of stuff, but if you're here for just one thing, you got to go with the Mexican hot chocolate brownie. It's quintessential San Antonio. By adding cinnamon and cayenne to her grandmother's brownie recipe, Elizabeth boosts her brownie game. 
So you took a Mexican hot chocolate drink and you condensed it into a brownie exactly. form. Exactly. Yeah, let's get two, two, please. Do you want some milk to go with it? Yeah, sure. That's awesome. I'm so excited. I'm surprised you guys fun. haven't dug in yet. Oh, I was waiting for the milk. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I love that crunchy top. I also feel like there hasn't been that many updated brownies. Like, no. everybody's kind of had a regular fudge brownie, right. but to make it Mexican chocolate with the spices. Oh, the bar just got raised. All right. <laughs> you know, when it comes to brownies, there are two camps. There are fudgy and cakey. So this is the quintessential fudgy with the extra spice. Yeah. Where do brownies fit in terms of all the different things that you serve? We're I mean, originally known for cupcakes and cookies. People love our cookies. But so many people come in every day asking for the Mexican chocolate brownie. I think because it is so quintessentially San Antonio. Before we go, yes. we got to take a selfie. Sure. Three, two, one. Best brownie in Texas. Hey. All right, Elizabeth, so for the best brownie that we've had, how much is it going to cost? Can you guys believe it's only two seventy-five? That's a pretty good deal. So the two Mexican hot chocolate brownies cost us five dollars and fifty cents, and two glasses of milk were four dollars, leaving us with sixty-three dollars and fifty-one cents. We're on a mission to try all of San Antonio's tastiest food options. We're here at the Boiler House in San Antonio, where we heard they do some crazy stuff with their food, especially their burgers. Let's check it out. Boiler House Texas Grill is the jewel of the Pearl District in San Antonio, located in a 130-year-old building that was a boiler room for a brewery. Executive chef Jeff White only serves fresh seasonal ingredients, making uniquely sweet and savory dishes. The Boiler House is very unique. It has a really great industrial feel. The food here is a great kind of a new American cuisine. What's going Thank on, guys? How y'all doing? What up, Chef Jeff? Woo. All right, Chef, you told us we're going to be doing something one of a kind. It's not available anywhere else. The burger we're going to be doing today is called the Jackie Treehorn Burger. It was one of the main characters in the movie The Big Lebowski, mm -hmm. uh, the dude's arch nemesis. The guy was slick. He had, he had, he had attitude, he had style. At the same time, uh, low down and dirty. OK. OK. That's what this burger is all about. Got foie gras peanut butter. Woo. It's got a, a queso blanco. It has a green tomato and habanero jelly. Chef Jeff mixes cured foie gras and curing salt and sugar, then combines it with warm peanut butter. It's got that little fattiness. Mm -hmm. it's Jackie Treehorn. Smells like a pickup line that actually <laughs> works. Well, let's start making the burger. The two burger patties are a blend of brisket, chuck, pork fat, and short rib meat. Chef Jeff places a slice of queso blanco between and seals the edges. At this point, we'll take it to the flat top and we'll get this party started. We're just going to do a real quick salt and pepper. You put pepper on that bun, too? Yeah, salt and pepper, uh, clarified butter. What else do you guys do differently? Well, two thirds of our menu is gluten free. We don't have a walk in, we don't have a freezer, we don't have a fryer. Well, how are you able to run a successful kitchen without a freezer and a fryer? A bunch of kitchen badasses. OK. okay. Uh -huh. While the brioche bun toasts, Chef makes candied bacon by sprinkling brown sugar on the slices and infusing it together with apple cider vinegar. Once the meat is seared, it goes into the oven. So we're going to take it out of the oven, and we're going to put this bad boy together. Now, how's that looking? Oh, that looks Bruh. incredible. The plated burger has the foie gras peanut butter, lemon truffle aioli, green tomato habanero jam, bacon, and melted queso. There we go. That looks Yo. incredible. You know what I love about it so much, Chef? You took modern influences, but you really kept it real Texan, too. Uh-huh. It's awesome, yep. man. Chef Jeff, we got candied bacon, queso, foie gras, peanut butter. How much is this going to cost us? I was ready $19, but it's a full meal under two buns. <sighs> we got to cut this in half, because actually all we can afford is this one burger, so. <laughs> you got the honors. Let's just cut it up. All right. Ow. Oh. That habanero jam, there's just enough to really counterbalance the savoriness with some sweetness. Yep. I've actually had a peanut butter jelly burger before, but the peanut butter was way too sweet. But this peanut butter has so much depth in the smoothness and the little extra fattiness. It's not too sweet, not too salty. Sweet and savory. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. Even though San Antonio is famous for the Alamo and Riverwalk, the Jackie Treehorn Burger needs to be added to that list. It's full of amazing flavors that complement, not compete. You know what? I think Jackie Treehorn would be proud as hell. Yo, this is the best burger I ever had. For $19, this was a bargain. Right, Chef Jeff, thank you so much for showing us into your domain. We're inside history while you are making history.
After that superb burger, we're left with $44.51. For some culinary surprises, check out this spot that's bringing some diversity to San Antonio. The rickshaw stop cooks up authentic Pakistani food, such as chicken boti tikka. Grab the samosas. They're light, crispy pastries filled with ground beef, seasoned ground chicken, or veggies. Three for just $4. We have $44.51 left to spend on some badass food in San Antonio. What are your favorite things to eat in San Antonio? Homemade tortillas, breakfast tacos, barbecue is always crazy good. When it comes to barbecue, it's a religion here in the South. So we have to check out the Granary. It's one of the most killer barbecue joints found in San Antonio. The Granary is the best barbecue place I know in San Antonio. I love the Granary because the brisket ramen is really different, and the sauce is really unique, and the brisket is really great. In addition to serving up some fine Q, they serve up beef that's been humanely raised by local farmers. And Chef Tim Retre pours a whole lot of love and care into the meat before serving it. What's going on, Tim? How's it going? It's it's welcome. It Thank smells you. incredible in here. Ooh, I just what? can feel the Texas. We got barbecue up in here. What kind of barbecue, though? We got some traditional, but we also have a little modern, more progressive barbecue that we do up in here. And we brew beer right in the building. It's like a religion here in Texas. Chill. Come on, check it out. All right. So this is what I would say is the heartbeat of the restaurant. This is our smoking pit. So all of our briskets, pork shoulders, beef clods, all of those items are hot smoked in this pit. Right Without now. this, this restaurant could not exist. Exactly. So for the people who don't know exactly what smoking is, what, what's the process? We want a, a nice clean smoke that just perfumes the meat. It's a matter of airflow and, and building the fire correctly. And then you get a, a delicious taste from the food. So the smoke is for flavor, but the heat will cook it. Exactly. OK. Whoa! <laughs> that smoked. That is a dark place. That's, we put a house rub on the outside of here before it goes into the pit. OK, so you guys want to try it? We've got a whole Packer beef brisket. Mm. Bro, that's Bro. unlike any brisket I've ever had before. No, that was super moist. That just fell apart. Speaking in brisket terms, sure. that was delicious, man. These uh, bar cans are actually what we put in the brisket ramen. Yo, Tim, this was. Delicious. We got to get some of that on our plate right now. We can do that. Look at all the juice left on my fingers. All right, guys. Oh, oh. man. We got some beer for you. This Thank is you, our house brown ale. It's real medium body. It's not real full and viscous like a porter. So mm. this will be awesome with what we have coming out for you right now. Mmm. Mmm. That has a really deep, rich flavor. I it's like that. It's almost like coffee. Yeah, it is. Kind of like really dark chocolate. Oh, oh my hey. goodness. Wow. We're in the south. We got some crispy collard green. The ramen broth, we actually smoked the bones on the pit to make that. So it's got a nice, deep, oh smoky goodness. flavor. When we eat this, it's, it's maybe not going to taste like the authentic ramen. It'll have something familiar to it, but twisted. You are on like a different wave, man. What was your inspiration? I spent nine years in England, in London, and a few other uh, cities. There's a lot of different cultural exposure that's led to our kind of creative slant that we put on things here. Yeah, I could feel like when I was looking at your food, I was like, yo, this guy has lived somewhere else. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never heard of a barbecue beef brisket ramen Texas style before. Right. But I'm so excited okay. to try this. Ito takimasu. <laughs> and if you want to get really tripped out, what you're drinking is actually in the noodles that you're about to eat as well. Because we make our noodles here, and we put the brown ale in to make the noodle. So you've got beer, brisket. Enjoy, Enjoy the ramen, guys. Thank you, brother. Come back. All right. Got to sip the broth first. Oh, OK. That's a lot of beef flavor right there. There's a candiness to that brisket. Usually in ramen, you're eating pork belly, or you're eating roast pork, the chashu. But this, you got the smoked brisket in the ramen. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. I feel I feel the shoyu, but I also taste beef brisket. Yeah. That was like amazing smoked ramen. That's kind it of was. what it was. They really did a good job of infusing that flavor deep into the ramen broth. They even got the soft boiled egg, which is incredible. I feel like this is definitely something that would do well on the gram. Oh, do it. Oh, that's a, that's a great aerial photo. My hashtag has got to be San Antonio New Wave. 
We just had the best brisket of our lives. Correct. Having some amazing beer, and now we're having brisket ramen. How much does that run us? Two brisket ramens at $16. Two brown ales at $5 a pop for a total of $42. Ooh. Not bad. I calculate that we're leaving San Antonio with a surplus of $2.51. Thank you, San Antonio. Back to my brisket ramen. We had an amazing day in Alamo City. We met a bunch of great people and a bunch of young chefs that are pushing the envelope. We had fried chicken and donuts, we had puffy tacos, Texas barbecue, plus an incredible burger. And we did it all for under $100. Thanks, San Antonio, for helping us live like ballers, ballers on, on a budget. budget.